Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very exciting episode of CSK News. Let's hop into our first story out there, a supposed rumor and a speculation for the future of a new French roster coming to CSGO. I'm going to kind of spoil this rumor right now, guys, and tell you why I think it's probably not going to happen, but if it does, it could be a very promising roster. So if you guys have not heard of the rumor out there, I'll link the original tweet down below. Apparently Team Vitality, known for their League of Legends teams, apparently that's where they get their funding to actually afford this roster. And I still, I'm very not, con I'm not convinced at all they can actually afford this kind of roster, but apparently going forward, they would actually sign these five members on screen. And it does make sense right off the bat. If you guys heard the interview, I'll play the clip right here shortly about Shox, where he does confirm he would have kicked MBK and Apex from G2's roster if he had the chance to and replaced them with Existence and his best friend Smith. So here's him confirming that, though, as to who he would actually have joined G2 if he had the option. I wanted to remove NBK and Apex. Uh, I wanted Existence uh, as a team captain and Smith coming back as a player. So the first part of this rumor makes a lot of sense. It'd be Shock's existence and his best friend Smith going forward, and as well, Shock's later in the interview also confirmed it would be existence being the captain or the IGL, which does make sense given uh, the past uh, experience with existence being that IGL role. Now on top of that, though, the real speculation begins as to who the fourth and fifth members of this team will be, and the speculation did say, of course, Zai Wu, the underaged, or I guess the very young Frenchman coming up on the scene. He's very well known for denying the offer from Envious for $15,000 a month. So so speculation going forward, I'm not really sure if Vitality can afford this kid to bring him away from school. We'll talk about that in a bit though, and apparently the supposed fit member would be a semi-pro French player known as Zen Shax. Now, I want to kind of, I guess we'll take off the three points, guys, as to why I think this, this future roster could be very doubtful, and I think these points are, need to be made. The first of which is probably the least of the points, that Zen Shax is actually a semi-pro French player. I'm not really sure how he fits into the roster. He even admits himself on Twitter in his uh, description that he's also a semi-pro player, not even a professional player, and all of a sudden he'd be playing with these four players who have very good experience in the French scene. I'm not really sure how he fits into the equation, but more importantly though, as to why this roster is very doubtful, is the very obvious. Coming up very soon here in March, we have Shox going into surgery for a very large cyst in his wrist. Now this is not a, a typical surgery out there, it could go wrong. Even if it does go right though and his recovery goes strong as well, he's going to be out for at least two to three weeks. So if anyone's expecting this roster to be announced anytime soon, or at least playing anytime soon, it's likely not to happen. Even more importantly though, the biggest point of all as to why I think this roster is very doubtful for the French scene to happen at all is we've actually confirmed back in January that Zai Wu still had six months of his BAC degree in the French scene left. Now it's currently March, so he still has at least two months left to finish his BAC degree. And if $15,000 from Envious did not pull him away from school, I highly doubt that Vitality can afford to bring this guy to actually leave school to go full-time into this roster in time for major or minor qualifiers. So I do think the roster is definitely a possibility in the future, but given the roster itself and the speculation around it with Sean Shox's injury, Shox's injury and surgery going on, and of course we have Zai Wu still going through schooling. If anyone's expecting this roster anytime soon, I highly doubt that. By the time these guys can actually play full time and scrim together and actually prepare themselves, and even just as I said that, I do realize it's actually the end of March right now. Give them two months to finalize that roster. They still would have three to four months to prepare for the major, or at least the, the minor qualifier system. So I still give them a chance, but I'm just very doubtful right now. But leave your comments down below. What do you guys think about that the potential that new French roster? Speaking of though, of course I mentioned a few minutes ago about the player break coming up. If you guys were here last year on the channel, we had talked about the CSGO player break going around in August. That was because last year we actually had a major in July. So uh, this year kind of a bit different because the major being the first face at major in London. I'm still so hyped for that. It's actually going to change things up a bit. Uh, apparently the player break is still going to be scheduled for this year in August, but it might cut, be cut short by some teams out there who are of course trying to be a boot camp for the major, so on and so forth. As of right now, we do have fallen saying that some news came out that it's going to ruin his vacation, but apparently guys, some teams out there will be boot camping. Other teams will be taking player breaks we can still expect probably a fewer a lot fewer tournaments or a lot fewer big tournaments or big teams going to tournaments in August this year around it's always great to see a player break these guys definitely deserve it and other news out there with uh, I guess you could say Taz's future roommate on the all Polish Kingman roster we do have his future teammate known as Rollins saying some I guess you could say uh, edgy comments after being killed in an FPL match I know lots, last time I brought this up a lot of you guys said that it was to perfectly fine the things were not racist what do you guys think about this we actually have FPL cracking down big on these kind of things we're gonna see how uh, Face It actually reacts if they do actually ban him or give him a 24-hour ban or some kind of punishment for this. Here's what Roland had to say in FPL match after getting killed yesterday. He's monkey. This is monkey. 
this is more cute. So yeah, I'm not really sure where I stand on this. Maybe a 24 hour ban, maybe just tell them not to say it in the future. I know you guys are gonna say it's just perfectly fine. In my own opinion, you probably shouldn't be saying that as a pro player. But even on top of that though, guys, we have other rumors out there, other kind of, I guess you could say, things might be happening in the future. The first of which is actually Taco mocking, of course, Simple's tweet. Simple tweeted out chapter a couple days ago, people thinking big changes coming soon to Na'Vi, which I still think is gonna be coming very, very soon. We'll talk about that in a second here. We actually had Taco mocking him, tweeting out the same exact thing. And yes, we still think SK Gaming roster Changes could happen very soon as well as this guys we actually had team one very surprisingly after a top eight finish at WESG this team has been one of the better Brazilian teams on the come up on the rise very uh, very recently they've been doing very well ever since the WESG qualifiers and apparently they've actually removed their current stand-in player that is actually Kike on that roster so yes team one a rising Brazilian team is now down to four members I wonder who could join them hint hint who knows who's going to join them very soon. On top of that, though, we also have Simple confirming at the end of his ver uh, the very, very last stream, actually confirming some big news coming soon. Here's that clip for all of you guys. Some big changes, big news coming soon for Na'Vi, and Simple has confirmed it. Uh, maybe we're going to stream soon. Yeah, big news coming soon, I guess. Big. And very last of today's episode of CSK News, I did tell you guys, or I guess I told you guys on Twitter, I'm not sure a lot of you guys saw it, I do have a charity stream coming up Saturday, so I was going to take a three-day break here to kind of finalize all the charity stuff, all the sponsors, to get everything organized. I might have a news episode out tomorrow only if there's actually big changes going on with Na'Vi or, or Zeus or anyone out there or SK Gaming. If there are big changes, guys, expect a video. If not, though, um, expect no more news videos until Saturday or Sunday. I'm going to take a big break here, trying to finalize sponsors, all that stuff for the charity stream. So thank you guys all for your patience. On top of that, though, I do want to clarify the last episode, the last story for today will be the Negev rework. So I'm going to link a uh, three click Phil's video down below. He goes into great detail in about three minutes about the rework itself. I do want to clarify as well, though, it took Valve almost a year to rework the Negev and not change very much at all. It was actually, of course, decreased damage across a few sections. On top of that, though, another decrease in price, only $1,700. And on top of that, the M249 is still $5,200. I just don't understand Valve at all right now. I don't, I don't know why they're trying to convince me to use this weapon. Oh, and one last thing, guys. I actually got sponsored by Loot Bear. Now, it's actually not a paid sponsorship. It's only based on referrals. But quickly, thank you guys all very much for using my Loot Bear link. Of course, Loot Bear using to actually rent your CSGO skins. I have some big videos planned for them in the future, so I cannot wait. And they've actually sponsored me. And again, it's not a paid sponsorship, but it's paid for referrals. So my link will be down below in the description for the next few days. And if you guys want to sign up or actually try out the service for free, feel free to. I have big announcements coming soon to try and explain the site further for all of you, explain the issues, explain the benefits. And uh, just thank you guys all for watching. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. My name is Jake Marvel, like you. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.